right now we're going to do facials because our faces are disgusting we're wearing hats because our face is gonna look really bad after the facials Look at my face. It's not that red actually, but I had like a lot of stuff on my nose. My nose is very red. I had a pimple there. Isabella, show your face. Look at my face. Red. She's redder. <laughs> I feel so fresh and like clean. My face is glowing. That's all for today. So today is Wednesday and I am getting ready because I am going to the nail salon in about 20 minutes I have to leave and I need to get my nails done look at my nails they're so disgusting I hate when people look at my nails in their shop and they have all these different icky stuff that I don't like I just don't feel confident when I don't have my nails done or at least they look pretty I was looking for inspo on Pinterest actually last night for the nails that I wanted to get done so this is my Pinterest but most of the nails that I was looking at are long nails and I have really short nails so I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do probably gonna get there and I'm not gonna have any idea what I'm gonna do and I really want to get something very cute and artsy but at the same time simple so this one has been like my top choice as if right now I feel like that is so aesthetic cute and very artsy but at the same time it's very simple look at this oh my gosh that looks so pretty look at these also they're like nude with a little bit of white I've been wearing white this whole time which is so nice because I love wearing wearing white but at the same time I want to switch it up a bit Okay, so I couldn't show you guys what my nails look like in the afternoon because I had something to do and I wasn't here at home. Drum roll, please. I don't love my nails, but it's something different and I feel confident with them and talking and just using my hands a lot. So, uh, I love to have my nails done. It's just so satisfying to talk and show people my hands when I do have them pretty. Hello people. It's almost one o'clock. It's 12 45 and I didn't want to go work out in the morning because I felt very very lazy I've not been having a very good morning So I decided to switch around and now we're gonna go work out today is leg day leg day And I have a love-hate relationship. So it's kind of going but I know that I have to push myself to do the things that I don't want to do and especially since yesterday I did work out but my shoulders and my chest and my back and just 
everything related to my upper body hurts i just didn't want to do anything but i want to push myself to do this it's 2022 and i really really want to keep up with my five times a week workout that's exactly what we're going to be doing and i'll see you guys at the gym we're at the gym and it's empty ha i love to have the gym to myself because it's so nice to work out on my own but sometimes it's actually really nice to work out with people today i actually wanted to work out by myself because i feel like i need more time for me and more time to be alone so that's exactly what i'm gonna do today i need it today so i'm excited workout was actually not that bad but my back still hurts from the workout from yesterday and my feet hurt a lot but anyways i am done it's 2 37 so it took me like one hour and 45 minutes to do that workout but i'm satisfied with myself this is the last workout that i'll be doing here so i'm so sad about that with that view and everything i'm probably gonna miss it but it was actually really nice to go even though i had a rough morning i feel so much more motivated and ready to go i actually like to work out in between 11 and 2 o'clock I feel that's when I have most of my energy. Waking up and eating and then working out is very hard for me, even though I think I vlog most of my videos that way. It's really hard for me. And when you see me working out in the morning, that means that I had to like push myself to do that, which is great because I'm getting myself out of my comfort zone. But at the same time, I really enjoy working out during this time. Today we are getting this crazy hair done. I'm so relieved that today's the day because I've been trying to get my hair done for a while and it's actually been a pain to keep it together and to make it look cute. So now it's time for me to actually go somewhere that they know what they have to do with my hair and then fix it. I have a to-do list of the things that I want to do at the salon today. So it's haircut. I want to do the keratin treatment and I want to straighten my hair. So it's going to be a a long long morning I wasn't able to go yesterday, but today Sunday I'm able to go. I already have an appointment and everything. I am so ready to go. style for me and i love the short hair like i really wanted to change my hair and this was like the main goal to make it shorter and to make it healthier so yay I think that's better. I 
need to do my skin here today because I am leaving tomorrow. So I need to get this face ready for the airport trip that I have. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wash my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Now that I've cleaned my face, I'm going to do this charcoal black face mask. So now that I've taken that off, the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my teeth because every time that I wash my teeth before I wear other skincare, my skincare from around my mouth and my chin go away, so I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna wash my teeth and then I'm gonna apply all my skincare. I went to a dentist a couple of weeks ago and I feel like my teeth are cleaner and whiter. But anyways, I'm going to wear this mask. This is the Youth of the People. This is the Super Berry Hydrate Plus Glow Dream Mask and it's an overnight mask. Look at the inside. It's almost like if it were clay. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit of rose water because I feel like my skin is very dry. The color of this is very weird, to be honest. It's yellow. It's very thick. That's what I like about this one. So I can feel my face heavy, meaning that in the morning when I wake up, my face is gonna feel very hydrated and good. Okay, so now that my overnight mask is on, I'm just gonna finish up with the CeraVe PM Night Cream. I talk crazy really weird when I'm using my retainers, but now that I'm wearing my retainers, it's time for me to actually go to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the final look. The last section of this video, finishing up the glow up. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do my makeup right now. I'm just gonna finish up wearing my perfume, which is black opium. And then putting on my jewelry. So 
So this is the final look of my outfit. This is my makeup. I'm not a makeup pro, but I try to make the best out of the makeup that I have. This shirt is from Zara. These jeans are from Zara. And I'm wearing Nike shoes. I think these are Nike 77. I love this outfit. I've worn it two times. I feel so much more confident, pretty, clean. And I did so much to take care of it the last week that I was in Honduras. So I am so proud proud of myself for that because I never take time for myself. I always go out, drink, and party with friends, be with family, so it's all about them. And I just forget about myself while I'm there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you guys loved the idea of coming to a glow up with me and just taking care of myself. If you need a glow up, go get a glow up. Stay tuned because there's a lot more vlogs coming. I'm really excited. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!